Hello everybody, Mr. Prime here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be uh, ranking the Transformers that I got uh, for 2019, um, worst to best, and this is going to be the first video I'm going to make for 2020 before Copa starts. Well, it starts in 2020, it's 2020, or whatever. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today, so let's just get right into it. And coming in at the worst one of my collection for 2019 is Transformer Siege 8-Face. Now I do like this figure. I mean, don't get me wrong, both of his uh, modes look, alternate modes look cool. It's just that the plastic, it's not even plastic, it's like a cheap plastic. Nothing wants to tab into that plastic, and the shield likes to pop off, like, easy, but it don't want to do it on camera. It's just, I don't, I don't like it. It's just... But, uh, don't get me wrong, this is a pretty good figure. It's just, what brings it down is that the shield won't have in, and the, uh, the plastic that they use, the white plastic. Everything else is, like, plastic. It feels solid, but this, no. That's, like, a cheap plastic. And here we have Cogman. Yes, he is a number in the t number 12 spot. I just don't really like him. It's like the um last night Cogman just like a repaint and it's it's just not not that fun to me. It's not that fun. Just don't really like it. Some of y'all might like it just because of the paint, but it's it's not even a retool of that last night. It's just a re repaint and I just don't really like this Cogman. Because in my opinion, Cogman should be this size. Like you saw in the movie. This size. But no. Hasbro just wanted it to transform into the, that car that Cogman uses. Uh, that's basically it for number the number 12 spot. Taking the number 11 spot, we have Scrap Metal. Don't get me wrong, this is a cool figure. It combines into um, the hand for Devastator. But to me, it's just not that fun to, like, play with and, like, you know, fiddle around with it, if you know what I mean. You know, to do stop motions and stuff. It's just not that good to me. But, don't get me wrong, it's going to look good with Devastator. It's just that I don't really like this. Um, because it's, I mean, this is the best pose I have gotten in, in so far. So, I mean, that's the best I could do. But, yeah. And coming in at number 10 is Studio Series Ratchet. I know this was released in 2018, but I got them in 2019, because I didn't have the, the money at the time in 2018 to get this guy, but uh, I ended up getting some money so I could get this guy, um, like, for, like, Christmas present, uh, um, I, I had to decide between the next one and this one, because, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, this guy has a cool alternate mode, and it's just really good, in my opinion, but it's just not as enjoyable as the next figure that I'm, uh, is uh, number nine, but I, I really like him. He, he's been my favorite Ratchet until I got the next one. And taking number nine, we have Siege Ratchet, which in my opinion 
is more enjoyable and more poseable than that studio series Ratchet. And just to bring in the other Ratchet so you can get a comparison, I mean, yeah, the, stu the studio series is great and all, but I really like the Siege one. It just comes with a lot of weapons and, like, accessories and... His medical bay, I don't really care too much about, but his alternate mode is great. Unfortunately, I don't have an iron hide. I want an iron hide, but um, unfortunately, I can't find him in my store. Um, cause my store just don't really like to put stuff out. That's why that ratchet, I got him in 2019. But the others in that way, that with Ratchet, that Studio Series Ratchet, I got in 2018 because it didn't have a Ratchet out. But yeah, I really do like this guy, and that's why he's number nine. Taking number eight spot, we have Studio Series Rampage, which, in my opinion, is more enjoyable than Scrap Metal. Now, don't get me wrong, Scrap Metal is pretty cool, but this guy's alternate mode is, like, in my opinion, better than Scrap Metal. Scales good with the other studio series, and this is just a nice-looking rampage, in my opinion. But yeah, that is a lot to say. He combines into a foot for Devastator, and I just... The thing that stands out the most to me is the head sculpt. See? Head sculpt. But yeah, I just really, really, really do like this figure. Taking the number seven spot is the Siege Six Gun. Now, this is a really cool figure. You can uh, take him apart and um and combine him with the other Transformers, most notably Ironhide, but I don't have him. But he he's just like really good. Like the alt mode is really good. It's like a Subtronian kind of like spacecraft, and I just really do enjoy this figure. And I just it, it's it's fun to play with. It's like fun to fiddle around with and transform and just we got a uh, siege cog which I didn't get but um siege cog was one of a uh, fortress max Ma I can't say his name I I I, I can't say his name right today. It's just uh but, uh, Six Gun was one of, uh, Metroplex's, um, he could turn into one of the guns from Metroplex, so yeah. And here is the number six spot. It goes to Springer. Now, I think he is, like, really enjoyable. Both of his alternate modes look great. They look how he looked, like, in G1. And the battle damage is in the right places. I really do like it. And he comes with another weapon. is some um, two guns. But he he's most known for uh, with his swords, which I love. You can get good poses out of this guy. And it's just great. I love him. It's, it's just one of, one of my favorite Siege Voyagers. And yeah, it's just basically it for Springer. So, here is the number fifth spot. Yes, y'all might disagree with me, but this, these guys right here, they came in a pack, and this guy just came along. He's a battle master. Those are micro masters, I think. But I just thought I would add both of them, uh, all of them, into one little group. I mean, these are great, they're fun to play with, you know, they can turn into weapons, 
and these can t this guy can turn into a weapon. These guys can turn into a uh, little cars and a uh, a big giant weapon. They can combine into a big giant weapon. But that's basically all for them. But they're just great. Taking the number fourth spot, we've got Bone Crusher. Now, I really do like this guy. It's just the lack of posability and like that's what that's what gets him. That's what gets him. Uh, I mean, I really do like this guy. Don't get me wrong. His alternate mode is really, really good. And I, uh, we've been wanting a uh, Voyager Bone Crusher ever since 2007. And I just think this is a great representation of Bone Crusher. And I just really, really do love this figure. But it's not as good as the one on number, the number three spot. For the, the third um, spot, it goes to Shockwave. He is really posable. Great fun to play with. He is a leader class. He has to be my favorite siege leader class that I own. I don't own Ultra Magnus, but I mean, I don't like his armored up mode. Supposedly makes him a leader class, but I can see what they're going with. If you combine this, it's kind of like a deluxe and a Voyager, which would make a leader class. And I just really like this guy. The head sculpt is amazing. You know, everything about him, the alternate mode. I don't transform him into his ship mode. I, I just like to transform him into his gun mode. But one of the things that brings this guy up to the top is the light piping. Hang on. Let me turn on my light. If you can see that, it it's glowing. It's just... I really like it. And again, here it is without that. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it, to me, it's not as good as the next one. The next one up, number two spot. The next one, the one before the first one is. Studio Series Dark of the Moon Megatron. His ultimate mode is good. I love it. I love the tarp. It's actually, um, like cloth. And I love the detail on the gun. Igor looks really cool. The head skull. It is really good. I really like it. But yeah, this this figure is just really good, and I just have to say, it is so much better without Igor on top with the tarp on. It is amazing, but I just wanted to put everything on there, and I, but yeah. It's not as good as number one. And here is, in my opinion, the best Transformer I own. Well, I got in 2019. It is the Bumblebee Movie number 38 Studio Series Optimus Prime. And I gotta say, this is an enjoyable, enjoyable figure. You can pose him. It's just fun to play with. His alternate mode is really good. It reminds you of G1 with a sense of, you know, movie design. And I think this is, like, the best Optimus Prime we have ever got. That's, like, a movie Optimus Prime. Now, I gotta say, they're coming out with the Earthrise Optimus Prime. Which I like, 
but it, to me, it's not as good as this. This right here. This is the best one. But let me know in the comments what your favorite is. I want to know your opinion. Uh, yeah. Master Prime signing off. Peace.